Hey YouTubers, this is Silver Skull Gamer here. Um, firstly, I want to say that uh, I do have to apologize to everybody uh, before um, because there have been high pitched tones of some degree on almost all of my videos, and I have had no idea because I have hearing loss and this is the first time it's ever affected my life in any way um, so I'm sorry I had no idea I finally had to get my wife to <laughs> watch the videos and indeed she confirmed that some of them it's not so bad and then my last video which we're about to re-record here um, the audio the high-pitched tone was enough that she said it would have given her a headache uh, after a length of exposure, so uh, I gotta apologize to everybody. I had no idea. Um, so I am now using separate audio software and a headset. I believe there was a problem with feedback from my sp surround speakers and the webcam microphone. So hopefully this fixes it. Uh, so here we go. We'll. Uh, re-record the commentary on this Dark Potential unboxing. So uh, the other day in the mail I came home, found a box, I was wondering what it was. Um, had a strange label on it, it's like a, some marketing company. Uh, I couldn't remember what I'd ordered or you know why this it didn't say anything I recognized on the labels and I open it up and we find this Dark Potential Reclaimer starter set that uh, I selected on my Indiegogo um, campaign pledge and I'm going to be honest uh, my first impressions upon reviewing the box art was I really wasn't that excited I was actually a little disappointed um, part of that is because the length of time that's been between my initial viewings of the campaign or the uh, concept art and the actual production of the models I have not really kept up with the uh, dark potential progress so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead here open in the box actually get in at the contents there um, I'll tell you one thing I noticed right away was there seemed to be a lot of rattling around uh, and I was trying to wonder why there was so much I knew there were metal figures but it sounded like they were just loose in the box and here I'm about to open it and uh, we're going to kind of see that the packaging uh, was not the best job so I open the box let's show the artwork again there so I open the box and immediately see that the plastic tray is packaged upside down and then all the metal pieces are just sliding around. Yeah, so I'm shaking the box. The metal pieces are just sliding around freely along the bottom of the box. And uh, so that's my first criti first criticism, other than my uh, disappointment and the uh, the look of the models initially. Uh, this is a first actual real criticism of the product itself, as far as quality. This is the packaging. You see how big the the tray is. Uh, doesn't really hold the models at all. <laughs> so they're just, I mean, I know they're metal. It's kind of hard to damage them, but they're just banging around, you know. So they're showing how big the voids are. That they don't really contain the models at all. Um, so there's seven figures. There's a Redeemer, a Captain, a Forward Observer, and four Grunts. Um, so I'm starting to kind of separate the pieces out, trying to figure out who's who, what's what. Uh, the bases are heavy duty; they're they're uh, much more plastic in them, and they have the recessed bit there and the slots. So it kind of make basing a uh, maybe a bit easier because you have that recessed area to put your basing materials. And to kind of build up the basing, contain your basing materials, but they're nice bases. I actually like those. They're kind of high quality. There's a lot more plastic in them than Games Workshop bases. Uh, separating out all the pieces, trying to figure out what goes with what. 
so you have four grunts. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm reaching for the box here, trying to figure it out. But you have four grunts. Uh, there's two repeating bodies, and all the arms and heads. As you see the little sprues, they're all the, the same for the grunts. Um, there, I pointed out the captain. He he's holding uh, some kind of scanner or something. And then you have the uh, the Redeemer, who has a missile launcher, which is kind of low in detail. And then the Forward Observer, who's a solid piece. He's a solid sculpt, uh, no separate pieces to the Forward Observer. So there I'm trying to organize them by who they are. Um, also, initially, I can notice that uh, there's really no vents or, uh, you know, the little stringy bits of metal from the venting of the molds. Uh, there's almost zero of that on these models. There you go, I'm separating them, trying to figure it out. Um, just the quality, the, the quality of the casting and the sculpting is good. Um, I just kind of reiterate several times throughout this that my personal taste, I just, these really didn't turn out the way I was hoping based on the original concept art. So, uh, there's the captain model. He has a half face um, helmet, I guess, or kind of more of a face mask, like a big gas mask thing. And he's holding up some kind of object I guess it's supposed to be a high-tech scanner of some sort. Uh, the, the mold lines are tiny. It would take very little work to sand them down. Um, you know, that's, that's what I say here, is that the quality of the miniatures themselves is really good. Uh, I'd say it's, as far as the casting and blemishes and the cleanup work required, it's much better than Games Workshop. Um, but that's the commander, you know, he's and uh, he looks pretty good. I just, I don't really care for his head, though. Uh, it's kind of a funky gas mask thing he's got going on with his two big vents. But, uh, you know, the quality, but the quality's there, you know. I mean, no, I don't really like the aesthetics, but I can't knock the quality. And, then, <laughs> and here's his gun, which I can't help but laugh at because it looks like a popsicle stick poking out of his gun. Um, it's kind of goofy, to be honest, to me. I, I don't get it. Um, I guess they're, they're trying to be different in sci-fi and break away, I guess, from traditional um, weapons and styling, but I can't get the popsicle stick out of my head because that's what it looks like is coming out of the end of the gun. Uh, the Ford Observer is by far the best model. That's what I'm holding up now. He's he's looking through like electronic binoculars, and then he has a sidearm up against his leg, which is kind of an awkward pose. Um, but the detail of his armor, I love it. I love the style of his armor the most. His helmet, he has a different helmet than everybody else. It's really good. Um, the the weapon though, I think I show try to show that. that I should say the total lack of detail in his handgun, his pistol. Um, it's it's a block of metal attached to his hip and his hand. Um, there's like zero detail. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. The weapon has like no detail, and it's kind of warped because it's following the curvature of his leg. And since it's attached, it would be really hard. <laughs> It would probably be really hard to correct it. I mean, it's not terrible, but if you're one of those guys that really wants to paint really good models and have them look good, to try to straighten that pistol out would be a pain in the ass. But best model by far, as far as I like this, you know. Um, and here we're looking at the Redeemer. Um, he also has a different helmet, more in the style of the Ford Observer. Um, it's, it's still a little different. I, I like it better than the grunts. Uh, again, he's got some good detail. 
once again, the mold lines, very small. All the figures, very minor mold lines. Uh, like I said, almost no venting at all. I think I found one piece of vent flash on all seven models. I found like one piece for my, for my initial review of all the figures. Um, the missile launcher I talk about is also kind of lacking detail. And oh, I'm pointing at his leg because the first three miniatures that I look at, the captain, the forward observer, and the redeemer, are all stepping up on a piece of terrain with their right leg. And so I'm commenting that I'm like, you know, come on, that's kind of uh, all three are stepping up with the same leg. I mean, we couldn't have varied the poses a little bit. And then I'm talking about the missile launchers, kind of lack of detail. Um, again, just being, you know, being honest. Um, you know, I just the weapons throughout the kit. I just, I think they lack detail. Uh, there's one of the grunt bodies. Um, not a fan of the big bulge in the chest. I'm not, <laughs> not sure what it is. Um, but they are commenting again on the lack of mold lines. The quality of the the casting is really good. Um, I know this this focus uh, and the met the models are a little shiny, but uh, I'll have a better uh, camera work here at the end of the video. And then there's another one of the uh, grunts poses. You know, it's it's they're all really good casts. Um, I do like the back of the armor, the detail there, uh, good detail. I'm trying to get a better camera for you guys there, but I fixed it at the end of the video. I had to mess with the brightness settings and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so there's two repeating uh, sculpts with the grunts. So, um, and then there's two unique. So with seven models, that's what, five unique sculpts. So here we go. Here's where I... Uh, I mess with the camera here, I'm trying to use a, a brown t-shirt as a back background, and that's not working. <laughs> so I finally, I finally realized. Um, I think you may have saw, and well, no, you haven't really seen yet. Um, that manual focus is the way to go when you're doing close-up stuff. The auto focus is terrible. Um, um, just my overall thoughts once again my opinion on the aesthetics and the style is not what I was hoping for and I, I think I, I mentioned here that I'm probably gonna sell this box um, I don't see myself painting these up I just I don't I'm not attracted to them aesthetically I mean the quality of the casting is great uh, the bases are good and sturdy you know, as far as metal miniatures, I think they're great, great quality. I mean, they did a really good job. They picked a really good caster, but I just not a big fan of the style. And there you can see the popsicle gun uh, on the commander there. So I, just, I can't get that out of my head, and I'll always laugh. I, just, I can't. It's stuck in my head. I'm sorry, Mini Wargaming. I just, the popsicle gun makes me smile. It cracks me up. <laughs> so... Um. Yeah, I'll probably probably sell this box on eBay. Um. You know, it just uh, it was kind of a miss for me. Um, didn't turn out quite the way I was hoping. Um. I think the original concept art. What I noticed later after recording this video, I went back looked at the concept art. The shoulder pads were smaller. And then I started looking in, in the box again and uh, the miniatures, and I realized, man, they made the shoulder pads bigger. You know, I thought we were trying to get away from the uh, over large shoulder pads on science fiction warriors. So I was kind of disappointed in that, that they, uh, somewhere in the process, the grunts shoulder pads got bigger. Um, you know, you see on the captain, he's got basically no shoulder pads, but. The, uh, the grunts kind of have oversized shoulder pads and uh, that's disappointing I, I think that maybe takes away from the original look 
that they had. And uh, and I didn't. I think it talked about the grunts' weapons are kind of lacking detail as well, and their funny shapes. Um, I haven't read any of the fluff, and I say that I said that in the original recording. I haven't read any of the fluff. I don't know what types of weapons they have or how they fire. Um, I don't know if they shoot popsicle sticks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. I can't stop with that. But uh, yeah. So um, you know, great quality as far as casting and the actual figures. Here we go. Mess with the with the uh, brightness and manual focus. There we go. Um, as you can see, you, from that distance, 720p, you can't even see the mold lines. Basically, um, is it, I mean that's that's an awesome casting job. Um, really good, and uh, I like the back of the the detail on the backs of the guys, the backpacks and stuff. There's a Ford Observer, definitely my favorite, my favorite model, except for that pistol, man. That pistol is killing it, um, because the detail of his armor and everything is awesome. Um, I mean, look at all that detail on the back. You know, I like his helmet. Um, I kind of like the pose, even. Uh, it's just a little awkward with that giant handgun that's like a block of metal. I mean, look, there's like no detail there. Uh, and then on the back side, there's a complete lack of detail on the back side. So that kind of sucks. Um, and then there's the the popsicle gun. I got to show it off to you guys because I just, it makes me giggle. I, <laughs> I don't know. It's laugh. I guess there's supposed to be some kind of indention on the end. I thought maybe it was a miscast. I went back and looked, and that's actually that little dent on the end of the gun is supposed to be there. Um, so that's not a miscast, but I, it still looks like a popsicle stick. I'm sorry. And there's the commander. Um, once again, you know, good, good sculpt, good cast. Uh, I just don't care for the aesthetics. And like I said, I'm, I don't know what he's holding because I haven't read the fluff or anything. I don't know if that's some kind of scanner or auspex thing or if he's setting a time grenade and he's getting ready to throw a time grenade or something. So um, that's my review of the Dark Potential Reclaimers. Hopefully this audio is fixed. And from all my videos here on out, we will not have any more high-pitched squeals. So once again, I apologize to everybody for that. So, um, yep. And I think I keep rambling here. This video, I realize I, I keep saying like goodbye and I'm done and then rambling and rambling on so um, you know if you guys have gotten your dark potential stuff in the mail let me know what you think you know if I'm totally off base hey you know if I, if you disagree that's fine let me know um, that's just my opinion on the aesthetics you know it's the only thing I was disappointed in so see you guys later thanks <laughs>